Hi there, it's Peter Dudley from Logic Training. I wanted to show you how to get the Personas fader port working in Logic 10. In fact, the Personas fader port hasn't been working with Logic for quite a while. In fact, since Logic became 64-bit because the drivers available for a good while were only compatible with 32-bit systems. So, for a long time, the fader port looked like it wasn't going to work with Logic 10, which was hugely frustrating because it's actually a very useful uh, device for navigating around and avoiding overuse of the mouse. Um, and the fact that you have a motorized fader is, is just uh, perfect. So I want to show you a workaround on how to get this working like a charm with Logic 10. It works with the latest Logic, which I'm using, but it will work with uh, 10.07 and slightly earlier versions of Logic as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So what we're going to do is, we've already got a Logic project open here. Um, we don't have any control surfaces set up on my system right now, so I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So we're going to go to the Logic Pro X menu, down to the word Control Surfaces and then across to setup and then we have the control surfaces window open here uh, we're going to click on the new menu inside that and click on the word install okay and here is a list of built-in uh, control surfaces and the one that we're going to use it's been around for a long time it's the Mackey HUI which I knew this about a year ago would have been out using my fader port but I'm glad I got it working now so Mackey Huey and we're going to click on the add button don't click scan because it won't automatically find this uh, device so just click on add and it should close the window in a moment let's just go there I think it's because I've clicked it twice that's why I've got this warning um, okay so there's the Huey there and once you've added that you need to go over to the left hand side and where it says output port change the word all to fader port and the same for the input port change it from any to fader port there okay so once we close the menu let's see if the fader port is now working in logic so I'm just kind of panning back a bit just to see yeah I'm able to put logic into play and the fader port is in play at the moment let's press stop press stop press stop again it's at the beginning uh, I can press the mix button on the fader port and the mixer is opened in logic press it again it closes uh, I can open an additional project window press it again it goes away this is the project button on the fader port if I press transport it minimizes the uh, control bar in logic so the transport the controls have gone away but if I press it again they come back you have undo and of course the all important fader, fader port function is the motorized fader that's the main reason for having this so let's see if this works I'm going to press A to enable the automation view in logic there it is and I'm going to press touch to activate touch automation um, the fader port's not able to uh, activate latch based automation you'll have to do that manually in logic just to let you know so here's the timeline I'm going to press play and just looking at the fader port I'm going to move the fader up and down and as I'm doing so I'm creating a wavy volume line have a little bit of fun with that etc ok guys going to start playback in logic to see if the fader port tracks my volume automation there we go working like a charm so there you have it fader port and logic pro x10 working really well See you next time.